Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Uh, today we'll take a look at a book titled Mexico 1935-1956 uh, by Joseph Albers, uh, published by Humboldt Books. August 22, 1936. Dear Kandinsky's, it has, alas, been a while since we last wrote, but we think of you and talk about you often. Let us hope that the future will be peaceful for all of us. Here in Mexico we had had a quite wonderful summer, three months of holidays, three months in this wonderful country. We took seven days to drive here in our car, partly through high mountains. Mexico City lies at an altitude of 2300 meters, so it is gloriously cool here in spite of the southern latitude, a very refreshing climate, and full of art such as perhaps no other country. Wonderful ancient art, frequently almost unknown, hardly excavated even when it is known. Pyramids, temples, old sculptures, the whole country is filled with them. And folk art in addition, a still living tradition, and still good, and lots of new art, frescoes. You will be familiar with Rivera, Orozco and others, then Merida, the excellent abstract artist, Crespo. Just imagine, even today, art is the most important thing in the country. At the pyramids, young Indio boys sell exquisite finds they have dug up themselves, usually genuine, for just a few cents, beautiful little pottery heads. There seems to be so little interest in them so far. Rivera is one of the few people who has a collection of these magnificent ancient artifacts. There is a very beautiful museum here, unfortunately badly looked after, but with beautiful objects. We went there again and again. You cannot see enough of them. Albers spent days taking photographs there. There is a show of his woodcuts on, that is well attended and has also received excellent press reviews. He also gave a talk one evening recently. It is a lively country here, and it is lovely how interested everybody is. We have met many interesting people, first of all Rivera, who is a great admirer of yours. We liked his early frescoes very much. Sadly, he now does uh, pretty horrible stuff, uh, revolutionary illustrations. But he's a powerful chap, and a much more interesting person than his current pictures suggest. Our college starts again in September. What are the omens for a visit from you? It would be so nice. Did you know that Shavinsky and his wife, Irene von Depschitz, will be at our college? We are looking forward to having them with us very much. How are you both? Did you have nice holidays again? We send you both our very best wishes. Yours, Annie Albers. Reverse. Dear Kandinsky's, this time my wife has started the letter, so I am left to tell what remains. Mexico is truly the promised land of abstract art, for here it is already thousands of years old, and still very much alive in folk art. Unfortunately, official art here is just political propaganda, so I expected a lot of objections to my show. The opposite was the case. The artists here were very interested and the radical press had long reviews and wants to publish more. The climate is fabulous. I am never tired, which is sometimes the case in the US. I have gained 7 pounds and painted 11 pictures in oil. It has really been a good summer. We had seen very many very beautiful things. We hope to return soon and often. Together with uh, Catherine Dreyer, Dreves and another German, Paul Klee, I am now a member of a group of abstract painters which is having a small traveling exhibition in the US this winter. It was organized by the owner of a small gallery in New York, apparently very well since the winter timetable is completely full. 
It is time that you reconsider your plans to come to the US and make them firm. At the very least, you owe Black Mountain a visit, which we have announced many times over a long period. We hope you are well, that you had a nice summer and that we shall hear from you soon. Love from yours, Albers. The book contains contributions by Brenda Danilovitz and Luca Galofaro. Ask for it at your local bookstore. Thank you for joining me today and see you in the next video. Bye.